Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Star Daily Car Reading for August 20th, 2021. As I started to record, someone literally is like hammering into the wall. I'm gonna keep going. I didn't think I told you guys this. Literally every single apartment around me on my floor and the apartment under me all had new tenants come in. Do you know what it's been like around here? People with their couches on the sidewalk. <laughs> A couple of days ago, I was trying to come up the steps. I was uh, coming up the steps and somebody had like a piece of furniture like right there blocking the stairway. And I was just like mm, pushing it out of the way. I'm like, this is crazy. And now I guess people are hanging their photographs and things. I don't care. Anyway, welcome to August 20th. How are we doing? Yeah, I, I'm i seeing, uh, speaking of homes, I'm seeing a home again. It's It's that kind of thing. I think more awareness has come around um, not just housing issues, but literally the collapsing of the condos and things. I think people are, it may not be out in the news, but definitely they're inspecting places. And we're probably going to be seeing more people who are evacuated from their homes because it's not structurally sound. There's that. And a lot around the military. I live in a military town, so that'll be interesting. If I see anything here, I can keep you posted. Um, Job markets. So job markets, they're going to start getting stirred up because of certain rules that are being put in place. And we're seeing people scramble out of those jobs. It's so weird because then people who are of that same belief system, they're going to come flooding in. That was a weird noise. Sorry. <laughs> but what I'm feeling is like there's like businesses are going to start getting categorized and this is going to be dangerous this could actually be very very dangerous because what you're seeing is all these like uh energy sort of clumping together which they do anyway because you know energies attract but hmm, this could start really we already have a lot of competition between businesses and this is going to make it even worse. Okay, so I don't know why that's coming up on this particular message, but there it is. Let's see what the card is. Let's see what we have going on. Watch for people short-circuiting. Really, it's about control. I've had so many instances, you know, again, the loud neighbor, or the neighbor that just wants to blare their music just to make you uncomfortable. They don't care about anybody else but themselves. The person that's driving erratically because they just want to go fast and they don't care if it could cause you harm or themselves harm. They just want to go fast. We're going to start seeing a lot of that. Um... Breakdown. I don't know what that means. But we're, I was going to say, we're going to see a lot of that happening and then we're going to see a lot of um, having to sort of um what am I trying to say crack down <laughs> wow uh crack down on that and this leads to a breakdown of some sort so we'll have to see we have truth this card is always very very interesting because again I don't know how much you can see here in the lamp but anyway there are these two uh these two people here they have like swords behind their backs and it looks like you're never going to see that because it's so subtle. But here it almost looks like you just see the handle of a sword. So they have like the swords are turned, the, the swords are turned back, but they have the handle in one. And then they've got another sword down behind them. And they're are stepping into each other. You see that? So this to me. Oh, wow. This to me feels like kind of how we are all poised. We're all poised in our truth. And if you see up here, here's this like watchful eye. Now that could be taken a couple of different ways, right? The way I feel in this card is that this is, this is what we need to be aware of. This is the truth that we need to see. That we're being taught we are enemies. And if you look at these two, they look, they look like twins. So really... We're the same. Sorry, twins. I know you're not the same. Okay, listen. It's not about that. Okay. <laughs> we are mirrors of one another. And yet we're being told, fight that reflection. Fight what you see. Don't like what you see. Hold on. 
let's see what else we got here. Ooh, and again with the sanctuary, it's like, okay, I'm not participating in this. I'm not going to do this. I'm, you know, this could be someone who, you guys know I'm not big on that whole twin flame label. But if we're talking, there are souls that have divine missions with one another, divine counterparts, whatever you want to call it. I just don't like what people have done with the twin flame thing. They have completely sensationalized it. And get on a soapbox about that. I will spare you. However, if you have a situation where you've got like this sort of like divine pain in the butt, <laughs> counterpart, weirdo, who's like, no, but it's like this. And you're like, no, but it's like this. And now you're becoming enemies. Step back and ask yourself, what's the narrative? Okay, see that eye, the eye there. What's the narrative that you're giving into? And how can you free yourself? Sanctuary is safety. Sanctuary is disconnecting. It's saying no, okay? Uh, hold on. This is fascinating. I want more. Grace. We ain't doing it. Let's do this. <laughs> Something like this. This is what we're breaking from. And this is why we're having a tough time because we, it's been so long since we've been with our heart open. You see, she has, she has her eyes closed. But definitely her heart is wide open. It's been a while since we've felt safe enough to do that because of this kind of dynamic. You see that? <sighs> yeah. The, the adjustment is not going to be fun. I feel like this is very much, it's a challenge, but it's, it's having to fight ourselves in a manner through someone else. Okay? So what they show up and they're showing you, it, it is reflecting something within you. Let's, let's break that down a little bit more. Let's say you had somebody that you knew, you're trying to date them, and they were a cheater. Cheater, cheater pumpkin eater, <laughs> right? Like doing their thing, needing constant validation because whatever, let's just say they didn't feel good about themselves and so they needed to constantly feel wanted. Okay, fine. So maybe they come on back in and they're saying, you know, but I didn't feel loved and blah, blah, blah. And they're trying to twist that narrative like it's your fault. And, you know, part of that lesson could be seeing through that and saying, no, 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 no. Cheaters cheat because they want to, <laughs> right? Don't you twist that back around on me. Don't sit there and tell me you had a right to hurt me or betray me just so you don't have to take, take accountability for the stuff you need to be looking at, okay? So now this shoots something back. At, it's not to fight, but it's it's to reflect, right? So maybe that person needs to take that in for consideration, but maybe you start to get faced with your fears around intimacy. Maybe you're faced with your own trust issues. Maybe... You see, you see this partner as being, maybe they're more for an open relationship, but that really threatens you. Whatever the case may be, th this is what we're talking about here. This is what's getting reflected back. Now, for some of you out there, you're sitting there going, what? With your coffee, going, what in the world <laughs> is she talking about? I'm not saying that that has to be the only scenario today. Thousands of people are watching this video, I think. Last I heard. Uh, but, <laughs> but just see where... You know, whatever it is, if it's a situation, a person, it shows up, it's it's reflecting something back to you that it's time for you to heal. Right? Anyway, we're going to leave it there. I'm sending y'all so much love and take care.